here with it. Today is basically telling you, keep going. Like, yes, I always tell y'all to keep on growing, keep on elevating, keep on going. But let me break that down just a little bit more for you guys. Like, we are not one and done. This ain't no end all be all. Y'all, we breaking through them obstacles. We going around them curves. Like, we got this. Just because one door closed don't mean the window to your left and right ain't cracked open a little bit. Just because the door is closed on me is telling you, quit. No. Look around. Understand why that opportunity wasn't for you. It could have been the wrong timing. You couldn't have been probably mentally ready, physically ready. Let's not think just because the opportunity was not for us mean that we don't have a chance to be better and get more. Just because that one thing was not for you, it was probably a reason. It could be internally or externally, y'all. Like, why are we stopping just because a door is closed, baby? It's more ways to exit. Do you hear me? It's more ways to exit and entry. Stop thinking it's one and done. Like, let's get it together and keep on going. I want y'all to completely understand this. It's okay for the things that you wanted to not want you back. It's okay, okay? Sometimes rejection and stuff is good because it's saving you from what, what you would have really shouldn't have been in, okay? Sometimes that no was meant for a bigger yes. Understand that, okay? Just because you got rejected for something that you wanted does not mean that was something that you needed so now that higher energy is protecting you from something bigger that you never even thought would even happen. Quit thinking that just because something happens that it's not for us. No, it's something else out here that's for us that we haven't even thought of. So now it's like signs being to you that this not for you, this not for you, this not for you. It might hurt a little bit, okay? I'm not saying it's not gonna hurt, but it might hurt a little bit. But understand those no's. Understand those rejections. Understand that it's more to just those opportunities. It's way more to just those opportunities that you was looking at. Let's think about outside the box stuff that you never even thought of and now they come and ask you and you're like, wow, I never even thought to do this and this really what I need to be in this whole time. Because now things are getting a little bit more clear. Now that you were seeing those no's, those rejections and you're trying to figure out why and you have seen like, okay, some of that stuff wasn't for me and some of that stuff I have to work on so some of that stuff was my fault of why I didn't get that opportunity so let me go and fix those little nicks and crannies and be better because why would I stop to the no why would I not fix on myself and be stuck somewhere and just want to just accept no for an answer are you really trying to be stuck with no for an answer for the rest of your life or are you trying to fix on things, work on them, and get better? So you can bring in more opportunities that you really, really need to be. And I want to say this. Just because a door is closed don't mean it's locked, shut, nailed. You know what I'm saying? You can always double back once you work on certain stuff. And you realize, okay, I'm ready now. Now I know more. Now I have worked to be that person that needs to be in that seat. Not, 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 I'm back. I'm ready. I'm here. This is for me and I know it's for me and I'm going to prove to you now why you need me now. Because at first, I was needing you, you know what I'm saying? Because I ain't know nothing. But now I'm very knowledgeable on this topic. Now I'm ready to come for whatever you got against me. I'm ready. I got this. I'm prepared for you. No worries. Listen. Just because the door is closed don't mean it's locked, shut, nailed, no. Keep on going. Like, y'all, my motivation on Mondays, I'm thriving to wake y'all up. I don't want y'all feeling like just because y'all see everybody else is doing something, that means you want to be doing that. What one person got going on don't mean it's going to be for you too. I'm just going to let you know that now. Okay, just because you see one person is doing this, this, and that, and you may think it was easy or something, but no. We're not going to go through that, worried about what other people are doing. Wake up. Realize who you are, your worth, your values, your skills, your knowledge. And can you put that work together to get into those doors yourself? 
Because once you start working, you start seeing how easy it was. And people really be going through stuff to get to where they at. And that's how you enjoy the process even more. Like, the reward is so much bigger and greater once you actually work through that. And everything's not just being handed out so easy. Like, once you get that courage to actually sit down with yourself and talk to yourself and tell yourself, baby, we got to do better. <laughs> we want to elevate. So how do we elevate? What's the first steps? What's the steps after? Now we got a little guideline on how we should follow. Now you're not just everywhere scattered and stuff, just trying to go to this type of thing, trying to go to that. You're just trying to get into everything and don't even really know the whole, you know what I'm saying? Now you're just trying to be outside with it. Like understand where you're trying to go, learn it, and follow the process to take it to get there. Don't just try to be just out popping, popping, popping just because you see other people doing it. You don't know the back end of the story. Work on you. Fix you and get yourself in them doors that you want to get in. Let's take this moment and sit where we at right now. Y'all remember in the past when y'all was dreaming to be on this level? And now that you got to this level, you trying to go to the next. Right? So you have to sit there and wonder... What did I do to get here? Let's talk about our past, our steps, and the, what we're not going to do, okay? We know what we're not going to take. We know what we can take. We know the disrespect, the respect, everything. You should know this now because of where your past is to where your present is. I hope you understood how you got here and you know what to do now and what not to do to go forward. So let's go ahead, take the time to really sit there and learn ourselves. Learn where we are having our weaknesses in. It's okay to admit to having a weakness. You're not gonna be having strengths in everything. Nobody is just perfect and just can do all of that, okay? Let me tell you the truth. Nobody is perfect who can just do everything. It's okay to have a weakness and own up to that weakness because you can work on it and get stronger it's not like you just go stop and fail because you can always reset because you are the main character. Like, this is your story. Come on. Let's act like we know this is our lives. And everybody on the outside can't tell us what we can and can't do. Just because the opportunity was not for you, it's okay. Understand why it was not for you from their side and your side and work on it. Do you really recall the path it took to get here? Where you at now? Do you remember all them times you bumped your head? Do you remember all them times you then got up again? Why would you let one thing stop you or slow you down? Like, let's be serious. Why would you do that? Like, is it cool now that we even got over the past? You know what I'm saying? Is it okay for us to laugh at stuff we went through and put up with? Because y'all, I know we all have been through some dumb stuff and looking back, you be like, I can't believe I really put up with that. I can't believe I really did that. Like, it's okay to laugh at it now. Yes, we were stressed out about it before and putting ourselves through the whatever. But we can laugh at it now. That didn't mean it stopped us because one thing didn't work. Whether it was relationships, friendships, opportunities with job. We can laugh at that. We went through that traumatic, you know what I'm saying? And it got us here. Let's laugh at it. It, it, it did what it did. It happened. Okay. Now what's next? Now how can we further along this journey? How can we elevate without still wondering about the past and what brought us down? No, let's not keep thinking about what brought us down because we're up here now. We know our worth. We know our value. We know who we are. We top tier. We know that. So I'm going to need y'all to act like it. Don't think just because one thing ain't for you, that means the whole thing ain't for you. Like, no. There's so much out here, y'all. It's so much out here. And don't let no negative Nancy stop you. No Debbie Downer, get, get gone. Like, don't let them in your way. Ignore the commentary that don't matter. People are going to talk about you whether you do good or bad. They just going to come for you whether you do nothing or you do something. So I just say I prefer to just live my life. Because regardless, they're still going to talk. They're still going to say something. No matter how good you are to people, Someone's going to find one thing to talk about negative. It's okay. It's life. It's human beings. Y'all, it's not going to change. I'm telling you that now. It's not going to change. So quit thinking and trying to sit in it. It's not going to change. Keep going. 
Just keep going. Like, it don't matter. Just keep going. Because what they going to do? They can't stop you. Mm -mm. Now that you know who you is, they can't stop you. Let them know that no weapons formed against you shall prosper. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Because you know. You know. You just took your time to do some research. You took your time to practice those skills. You in there. You in there. What can they say? They can't discredit you because you took that time to learn, to grow, to elevate. You took that time to better you. Can't nobody take that from you. Can't nobody discredit you for doing that. You are working on yourself to be better for you, for your family, for your loved ones, for just whatever. Like, you're doing this for you. Remember that you're doing all this self-work for you to be a better you to give to others. Please don't pour out the negativity to others. Work on you, love you, pour into you. And that way you can pour into others. We need to be having more positive people out here, okay? Cause this negativity out here is just chaotic. For what? Why? Just love happy, love happiness. I love love, like, oh my gosh. Don't let no no, like, it was a reason why you didn't get invited to that event. It was a reason why you didn't go out that night. It's okay. Don't take it personal and don't think it was a bad thing. It's okay. The reason why you couldn't get that job, no matter how many times you can apply, it's telling you just go a little bit harder on what you're doing right now. It's okay that job was not for you. You don't even know how that management was on the inside. That job was not for you. It's okay. Okay, let's find another one. I have to realize it's really a reason why you didn't give it all up. It's a reason why you're still sitting here listening because you didn't give it all up. You believe in yourself and I believe in you too. Can't nobody tell you you can't do nothing. Like that negative energy is for no reason. Like why would you be negative and there's so much going on in this world. Like, you knew this when you was younger. If you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. Just shut up. Just be quiet. This is why people fall out with each other because y'all just saying whatever. Like, what? Are you really listening to understand or are you just listening to react? Do you know how to control your emotions? Can you have a grown up conversation? Shut up sometimes. Listen, you don't always gotta be competitive and say something bad. This is how you don't get some opportunities because your energy rubbing off and people don't like you because you're so negative. Come on. Let's be who we want people to treat us like. Like, let's treat each other the way we want to be treated. You don't have to dog nobody out just because y'all not cool. Let me tell y'all, y'all don't have to dog nobody out just because y'all not cool. Wish them well and kiss them goodbye, okay? Entertain and egg on for what? What is that doing for you? What is that doing for me? I'm not gonna egg on anybody to just go back and forth. We're too old to be going back and forth. Cause now you wasting my time and time is money. And you can't really afford my time to just go back and forth with you. That is crazy. Uh, oh yeah, that is so crazy for you to even think that would ever happen. We're too old for that. We're too smart, we're too wise. We have too much going on for ourselves to dummy down and go back and forth over little stuff. Like, let's just be real. When you feed out of that positive energy, it comes back. Telling you, push it out, it comes right back. Keep that positive mindset going. Overcome those obstacles. Don't let nothing drag you down. Don't let no one drag you down. Keep that positive mindset and keep on going. Don't look at certain things as missing out when you lose a friend or whatever, or not going to an event. Don't look at it as missing out. Quit having that FOMO, like that fear of missing out will eat you up if you were meant to be there you would have been there okay if you were actually meant to be there you would have been there quit having fun up. why are you feeling all type of way if you're not invited out somewhere girl that just was not your scene man like he it was dudes there that didn't even rock with you that's why you're not there because it's protecting you and it's protecting your energy it's protecting everything around you so quit feeling negative about certain things you can't get to. It's okay that you can't get to it. It was a reason why. 
I'm saying y'all trying to do all this stuff. You get so caught up in trying to be into everything and doing everything. You just spread yourself thin. Like, you want to be here. You want to be there. You want to be here. And it's all these, this energy just rubbing off on you. They're just coming on you like, ugh. Now you changing up a little bit because they rubbing off on you. And now people are wondering, how you get like this? Why are you like that? What didn't happen to you? You changing. Uh-uh, not changing for the better. I don't want to hear that one. And for the better because you out here doing too much. You spreading yourself thin to fit in. Nah, you doing too much. Work on yourself. And get into the opportunity that's meant for you. Not just because you want to be there, want to do this, want to be this, want to be seen. To understand what's needed for you. What do you need? Not so much of always what you want. Life ain't gonna always be peaches and creams. Y'all know that. Peaches and cream is ain't gonna be for us. Every day? No. Everybody who be having those highs that keep on high, high, it's always gonna be a drop. Like, no matter what, y'all, it's like with anybody, no matter how positive you are or whatever, like, you have so much good momentum going on, but you gotta wake up one day. Somebody gotta smack you upside your head one day. You gotta have one thing to just throw you off a little bit. Just so you can know it ain't too easy out here, okay? It ain't gonna always be just flowing. Something gotta rough you up so you could be uncomfortable to grow. Cause once you get so comfortable and content where you at, now what? It's, I mean, no, you gotta get uncomfortable. It ain't gonna be peaches and cream. This is how you grow. So let's understand that when one door is closed, that don't mean the window's not round and ain't even cracked open a little piece for you to get in. So you could see what's on that other side and what you need to work on. Just because the door is closed, don't mean the window's closed, baby. Try to figure out what it was that you got to work on or if it was them. Simple. Sometimes rejection is okay. Work on yourself. So thank you guys for watching the Motivational Mondays. If you fall off, who's there to catch you? Remember that. When you fall off, who is there to catch you? Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and share this. You know what I'm saying? Let the people know about this motivation on Mondays. We is growing constantly, and I am so thankful and grateful. I love you guys. Thanks so much. Stay tuned for our next motivation on Mondays. Mm -hmm.